Holy Spirit, I pray for this individual on the other side of the screen today that you have sent here as a divine appointment. I pray for their life, their situation, the circumstance that seems to be overwhelming, out of control even in some places of their life. I just thank you for this divine right now prophetic word of clarity. And I thank you that this is their divine appointment. I thank you for sending them here, God, because you knew that this was a right now word for them today. I want you to type in the comments, God is going to turn it around. I know you don't know what that means right now because I didn't release this word, but I, by faith, I want you to say that right now in the comments because what God's going to give you in this video is literally going to be the answer to many of your prayers today going forward that I believe is going to be a game changer. Type game changer in the comments. Now, <clears throat> in the vision, I seen you and I seen you like sitting on a curb and I seen you like contemplating, talking with the Holy Spirit. And the conversation was on the lines of almost feeling frustrated, borderline confused, not really confused. It was more like lack of understanding is the way I was perceiving in my spirit, but it felt like confusion. And the confusion and the lack of understanding was in you wanted clarity. You need clarity right now in the decisions that you're making. But there's a lot of voices that are really loud around you. And I feel like a lot of those voices are people that are super close to you, almost like family, that are constantly you know, talking around you that make you sometimes even second guess yourself. But I hear the Spirit of God saying this for you today, that I'm gonna bring you clarity because I need you to understand that this prophetic word is a confirmation that I heard you in your prayers, in your time of seeking me. Now, as I get into this word today, I want to share with you uh, some things that God put in my heart concerning you. Um, now, in this, I seen in the spirit the story of Elijah. If you guys don't know the story of Elijah and the story of Elijah when he was um, uh, after he won the battle with the prophets of Baal. Like, right, we see in scripture where Jezebel <clears throat> sent people after him and it caused uh, Elijah to go up into the caves and to hide. Why is because they were going to they're taking his life. So there was a sense of like a lack of, you know, confidence, there's a sense of confusion, a sense of fear that was stirring in Elijah. And Elijah was running for his life and he went and hid in the caves. Like, right now, I want to say something to you that's super profound about this story because it's in this place where God brought a supernatural download to him. It was in the place where he felt confused and frustrated. And this is what you need to hear today in the spirit, is that in this place where you feel like confusion, and it's obvious that you, know, you can tell that confusion isn't of God, but yet you understand the deeper essence of this confusion isn't like, an evil thing it's more of like of a lack of understanding and you need clarity and god understands that and this place in your life to where it's kind of symbolic to uh elijah being in the cave it's like him being in this secret place where god took him uh, separated him away from the enemies that were trying to chase him down from the others that were around him from the voices that were going on you know around him the voices in his own head and he needing clarity and direction was hiding in a cave and you feel like at times that you are stuck in this this hiding place like God's almost like hiding you but I'm here to tell you that this place that you're in right now is an amazing place of revelation this is a place where God is wanting to reveal to you something really amazing now if you notice the story uh, something happens in the story that's super epic God gives Elijah a vision and he sees the vision of like a whirlwind, a storm, a tornado kind of deal. And he recognized that in all that noise that he didn't recognize the voice of God. But there was this still small voice that spoke to Elijah that gave Elijah direction. And I heard the spirit of God say this concerning your life. You know, the, all the things that are going on around you are really loud right now. And there's a lot of voices trying to impart into your life, trying to give direction and wisdom and understanding and clarity. And some of these voices are out of a really good heart, by the way, and God knows that. But the, God is saying this, I need you to go into the secret place in this time that you can really hear the things that I have for you. Now, the things that God has for you and the reason why he sometimes sets you apart like this to be able to hear the deeper things 
is so that you can get focused like right that you he can have your your attention why is because everything's so loud sometimes it's really hard to hear that still small voice right and just like i was saying uh earlier is you need to understand the voices that are out of control in your mind the voices that are really loud inside the voices that are loud going on around you kind of choke out that small still voice but god says this i need you to focus on that voice that's in control because i've given you a spirit of self-control and my spirit is speaking through you through the spirit of self-control that's that still small voice just like elijah heard God's voice in the middle of the storm. The storm represents all the loud voices, all the chaos and distractions that are going on around him. And I prophesy in the middle of all the distractions going on around you, that God is about to elevate you and bring you into a new season. Now, it's important you understand a couple of things the Lord is saying here. The Lord says, you know my voice. And God says, you need to understand and I know that some people might not agree with this. It's okay. I understand. I need to teach on it for you to have clarity. But let me just say this, okay? And I'm going to say this very loosely, but understand there's more to it, especially if you're part of our mentorship program, you know, or you receive our daily prophetic words. You probably learned how to do that. Links in the profile, the description of this video to be able to go and do that. But the Lord is saying this, that the enemy cannot mimic my voice. Why? And you're probably asking why. It's because the voice of the enemy is in the confusion. It's in the distraction. But the voice of God is also can be known in the distraction and in the confusion. The thing is, is this, is God says this, that I'm not the author of confusion and the distractions that come from the confusion that cause fear. Right. So at the end of the day, when Elijah seen this in the moment of seeing the distraction and the confusion and things going on, the still small voice spoke. And I'm here to prophesy to you that you need to pay close attention in this season of your life to that still small voice. That's and, and how do you discern it? You discern it like this. The voice that's out of control is the voice of the enemy. The voice that's in control is the voice of God. For example, your mind can be out of control. You'd be like, how do I forgive this person? And God says, just forgive them. You're like, forgive them. Do you see what they did to me? You see how they treated me? And that voice that goes out of control, that's the voice of confusion. That's the voice of the enemy. But that still small voice that says, I understand. Just just forgive them. They don't, they don't know who they are. They don't understand. They don't know what I'm saying. They don't know what I'm doing. Just sympathize with them in this moment. You're like, sympathize. Like, you have to understand. you got to be able to discern God. And the best way I can teach you today to discern the voice of God in this moment, in this prophetic word, and giving you wisdom, and clarity and direction here is to understand that that still small voice that voice that's in control is the voice of God that's speaking in the distractions so don't get distracted by what's happening but learn to hear that still small voice in it that's in control everybody type in control in the comments now I need to know from you in the comments what part of this word stood out to you the most and i need you to understand something that the voice of condemnation the voice of fear that takes away your power love and a sound mind is not the voice of god but god is saying this that i'm drawing you into the deeper things type deeper in the comments god says i'm taking you in to the courtrooms that you can begin to see what i'm doing type courtrooms in the comments don't get distracted by your frustrations but get focused on that still small voice that's in control in the middle of that. God says, I'm guiding your steps. I'm guarding them and I'm guiding them in this moment that you can begin to prophesy and speak peace. I want you to type peace in the comments. I want you to begin to prophesy peace over your situation right now. Rest over your situation, says the Lord. And I need you to remember this family. I love you. Go receive your daily prophetic word. Links in the description of this video.